Goodness. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Me, I'm well. Hope you're doing good too. I have left RV base camp with my friends. I'm in the Wolf Wolf Wagon. Um, drove about an hour to get into town. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I haven't had any Mexican food. <laughs> I hadn't had any Mexican food in quite a while, um, which is it's doing me good because I've been walking and not eating out. I've lost maybe 15 pounds. Uh, my clothes fit a lot better. But I had a weak moment, so I went in and got me a steak nacho, and the girl brought it out, she had on her mask, we were real careful, I keep my, keep my spray disinfectant on one side, and I've got my, where's the other, got my hand sanitizer, uh, Sprayed the bag down, sprayed the outside of the case down, and uh, talk about good. But I messed up. I've got three. Tucker's one. I'm number one. Sometimes. Two. Daddy, you know I'm number one. Yes, Martini, you don't let us forget. And then... Three. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see you, baby May May. Little beggars. And, and and gosh, I mean, what 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 do you expect? You know, you're sitting in a car with three babies and you're eating steak. But uh yeah, I got all my blankets back there. I got both my wool blankets for some camping tonight. But uh May May's looking around looking for critters. She's hunting. They were all begging. And I gave in. Tucker got chips and some pinto beans, refried beans, and some uh, steak. And then Martini, I, I had to give her a little bit of a bite. Talking about you, baby. I don't care. Well, you should care. Um, and I gave her a bite, and she's been kind of sickly. That pancreatitis, that's the worst thing I could do. And it's been a couple hours. She's just been laying around. But uh, I think she's feeling better now. Her doctor uh, in Kingman, Arizona said, no more people food. Well, don't you listen? Yes, Tucker, but it wasn't fair for me to give you a bite and not give Martini and, and baby May May a bite. Yeah... You're right. You're so pretty, Tuck. You're pretty for a boy. You got that right. <laughs> You're my best buddy. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it, it got real cold last night. It snowed a little bit when I got up this morning. Um, there was snow uh, on my uh, zero-gravity chair outside. Didn't take a picture of it, though. Okay, we'll get out in a minute. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little camping. I got my new mattress. Got plenty of food. Got sleeping bag, two wool blankets. Hey, it's kind of what we do, right? But um, I'm a, on a new uh, road looking for places to camp. And I haven't camped this before. Real rocky. <laughs> Tucker, quit licking my hand. But... Someone else has camped here before. So I'm going to camp here too. It's cold. In fact, I've pulled off this road here looking at several campsites and kept blowing my hat off. So then I put my hoodie on, kept blowing that off. <laughs> 
This is a cold haircut. Come on, babies. Come on, martinis. You got to help me, daddy. Um, I know. They're going to do their thing. How's that for a perfect Christmas tree? If I'm here at Christmas, I'll have to remember this one. Well, they're all over the top of this hill. Probably would be highly frowned upon. Ooh. Look at this wind. Storm. Storm's rolling in. And the wind's cold. I bet it's 40 degrees. It's 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I love these remote campsites. Love them, love them, love them. I was actually able to go to the car wash today. Get some of this dust and dirt off of uh, the Wolf Wolf Wagon. So I'll decide whether I'm going to get in a rooftop tent or not. I want to show you something else I did to the, the Wolf Wagon. Wolf Wolf Wagon. While I was parked at my buddy's shop, he had a level concrete floor. I got me a little packet of levelers. So I'm level left to right. And I put another one right here. Um, I'm mostly inside the, the lines. Uh, if anything, that kind of, I like that the way my, my head above my feet. So, uh, I'll sleep good with that. I marked it with my pen. I got to clean that up. So kind of important now that I'm sleeping inside of it. It'll make a difference inside the tent too. What'd you find? It's, it smells, it smells like there's some activity going on here. What kind of activity? Chipmunk, ground squirrel, normal, usual stuff. All right. Well, that keeps y'all entertained for a minute. Kind of dry. All right, I'm gonna get everything set up, do some camping. Well, it's been a few minutes since the last clip. I'm right up here on top of this hill. It's too much wind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set the wolf wolf wagon up for, for sleeping tonight instead, instead of going up top. Nice having the option, I'll tell you what. Gosh. Could have rinsed those windows better, couldn't I? Yuck. I really like how this new mattress stores in here. I moved my fridge over. Got it mounted in here good and solid. I was headed out and said, I want my peanut butter. So I got these wood sl uh, slats. And I painted them, I screwed them into the floor, run this strap under them. I got one over in here you can't see. That gives me a lot of, a lot more room. This isn't as tight up against here. And I'm not going to work, I'm not running the fridge right now. But if I were, that's enough room. And that's enough room. And get the bed set up. Why? Because it's what we do. Martini's feeling a lot better now. Uh, but I knew better. And that's, a, that's really like the first time I gave her that much greasy food. That's, if, that's, if that gets her pancreatitis flared up, I got problems and so does she. Look at all the room I've got in here with this tri-fold mattress. That's six inch foam. It's 31 inches wide and 75 inches long. I have to mash it up against that chair there, but it covers most of this right here pretty good. Yeah. I've got Tucker a piece of foam. Hopefully Tucker and all the babies will get right here. Because we didn't we didn't fit on that other mattress. Maybe maybe we'll fit better on this one. But uh that's plenty of room to breathe all the way around it in my opinion. 
This thing lays so good. Brought my covers off my bed I'm gonna put on here. Keep from getting this cover dirty. It, it's, cold, it's cold out there. It sure is, baby. I brought both my wool blankets. One of my most prized possessions. Got them off eBay for about 70 bucks. They're in really good shape. Look at that date right there. 25th of January, 1951. I think my other one, I think it's a 54. And uh, one of these is almost as warm as one sleeping bag. No lie. So I brought two of them. And I'll just leave my sleeping bag under there tonight, I think. i always get it later. Here's my other one. Uh, you just could read that tag. I think it was 54. I love these things. I might get me another one. One of the best purchases that I've ever got. Camping. Absolutely. Both of them have this insignia on them. Isn't that nice. In fact, honestly, they're so nice. I'm thinking about replacing them with some with some that are you know that have moth holes or you you can buy them in different quality. These are so nice. I think I'll buy some more and leave these inside Miss Gypsy, my Class A RV. It's coming together. Many of you have given me the heads up about widow makers out here. And what widow makers are, widow makers are, are falling limbs from tall trees. Or just falling limbs in general off of trees it can kill a man, especially if you're in a tent. Of course, that tree could blow over for that matter. But I am aware of widow makers. But, uh, I appreciate everybody looking out for me. I do know that. There's a lot of things I don't know. I gotta have it just right. I gotta, I gotta be under the covers. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be under daddy's armpit. <laughs> oh. Well, snug as a bug in a rug. That's, that's rough out there. Talked to some friends of mine in Georgia. They said it's 65 degrees at night and muggy. 70 and 80 in the day plus. And here we are having snow at night. 90, 9,000 feet in elevation. You see any critters, Martini? No, but I'm looking. I'll find one, and I'll catch it too. If you catch it, I'll cook it. How about that? You gonna wash the dishes, Tuck? Man, you know. Everybody say it with me. You, you know I ain't got no thumbs, right? <laughs> Love and life. <laughs> How's it getting much better? I guess if I could get Miss Gypsy in here, it'd be pretty nice, but I can't. It's four wheel drive to get in here. Got my CPAP and my computer inside this container here. Same thing I'd be doing inside of Miss Gypsy. Staying warm, working on the computer. Okay, well, I got a lot of work to catch up with. Got a lot of comments and emails and stuff I gotta do, gotta answer. This is what I do. This is what, this is what, this is what me and the wolf pack do for fun. It's fun taking y'all. But every video's got to end somewhere. And this one ends right here.
I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. Bye. What'd you find? It's, it smells. It smells like there's some activity going on here. What kind of activity? Chipmunk, ground squirrel, normal, usual stuff. All right. Well, that keeps y'all entertained for a minute. <laughs>